What's up guys? Today we're doing a pamper night routine. I saw someone do it. I don't really do pamper routines that much anymore. I don't know why, but it's just something that's really fun to do, especially if you're like stressed out. But if you're new, please subscribe because I post every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at noon and I want to get to 600 by the end of this year. Um, something that I've been really insecure about lately is that whenever I watch my videos, um, these right here are very noticeable. It looks even more sunken in on the camera than in real life. I, I'm trying to work on it. The reason why I have those is because I don't drink enough water. I've been trying to drink a lot of water lately. Yesterday I was really bad. I drank like half a cup yesterday and then I had soda and that was it. I don't know why I'm so horrible at drinking water, but I really need to get on that because um, last week, if you didn't know, I got food poisoning from this milk from Target. It's like by the brand Simply Balance. And I was sick for two days and I still managed to film a video while I was sick. It was a tea time video in that when, when I was sick. But it was horrible because I was having these really bad stomach cramps that was unbearable and I couldn't even get comfortable. I didn't know what was going on. I wanted to cry. Um, I also had like the runs for two days straight TMI but like all I did was just make a smoothie and my stomach felt weird and I felt nauseous and then all of a sudden all that happened while i was getting better my side started to hurt and it was because i wasn't drinking water people really think that water all water tastes the same but truthfully i don't think so like i feel like every water has a weird taste or some taste to it that makes a difference I posted my halloween video um and my mom was saying it was depressing because i was complaining a lot but that's kind of what i do like for my pamper routine i like using like face masks and stuff like that i think i'm gonna do like a teeth whitening thing because i haven't done it in a long time sweating everywhere just from biking for like 10 minutes that's how out of shape i was as you can tell over here my lights died even more like look at that it's pretty bad like they keep dying i don't know why and my mom is playing beyonce right now and i was trying to talk over that so i don't get copyrighted but i don't think it's working is a mess but i forgot to tell you guys but i've been like binge watching um shameless i used to hate it like i skipped like a lot of the inappropriate scenes because it's really annoying it's a really good show i'm probably going to talk about it in my current favorites because i'm definitely going to do a fall favorites this month these are like fall i don't know if i ever established this but there are no beaches here like I'm looking for more movies to watch, but I just can't find anything and I was just like I have nothing to do So I'm just gonna whip out the camera and talk to it Friday. I forgot to say this and if we going we might I don't know. I thought she was listening to Lil Pump. It's a big Sean song like if that's, that's even better I don't know. We might go to the store on Friday um I want to get more Halloween decor as you can tell my mom decided to take my bat but I might get a new one. What if I trick or treated this year even though I'm 18? Because I didn't really do it a lot as a child because I just wasn't into it. And that is so weird like- What kind of kid does not like trick or treating? But I really liked passing out candy to people and watch, like looking at everyone's costumes, you know, and complimenting them and stuff. But I would always go to my grandma's house and pass out candy over there because she lives in a house. And at the time I was living in an apartment, there wasn't a lot of people there because everyone else that lived in the apartments would go somewhere else because, like I said, there wasn't like a lot of people that was even at their home. This year it's going to be depressing because I'm not doing that for the first time or the second time. I don't know. Because I'm, a, I'm living in a totally different state. Everyone in my family is kind of emo about it because like it's weird because I would always go over there and pass out candy. And, um... Last year, Nate helped me with it. I keep talking about Nate in my videos, and it's probably because I like, miss him a lot. And, like, I, oh my gosh, there's a Pet Hoarders movie. I don't like that. People have been talking about the 
mine of Jake Paul documentary thing, but I've been trying to make my mom watch it. Um, me and my mom are not fans of like the Paul brothers, but um, a lot of people have been g making videos of their reactions of the documentary thing. It's, the documentary is by Sean Shane Sean Shane Dawson, and they're like 40 minutes long and um. It's a bit dramatic, I'm gonna say that. Some parts it's really boring, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm just like, okay. Cause the therapy one, like, that one was kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. Jigsaw, I don't know what that's about. Oh, it came out last year, so it might suck. Cause like, I don't know. There was a movie called The Conjuring, and I don't remember which one it was, but, um, it was based on a true story, and I think BuzzFeed made a documentary about it, like a mini one, because it was about this girl, and she was like religious, and she started doing all this, she started having like seizures and all this crazy stuff, and she was talking to the devil or whatever, and she was beating herself up, and um, I watched that movie like two years ago with my mom and my brother, and it was a really good movie honestly and people still talk about it like not the conjuring but the story itself because it's crazy um i feel like there was more to it that they should have added to like i feel like she was kind of like abused because it kind of like i feel like those little problems that she had came out of nowhere but i like the ones that are based on a true story because it kind of gives you more of a chill because it's real but they add like little stuff to it to make it even more dramatic I'm glad that these windows are soundproof because i don't want to hear it the at the people that drive their atvs here are so annoying and i haven't heard it in a while and i'm so glad because i feel like an old person that's like annoyed by every little noise i think what started it was because i lived in an apartment my whole life and it annoys you because you're so close to people and you don't really like get a lot of space to like you know how houses have like um gaps between them between the other houses um with apartments you're kind of squished together so you hear every little thing a lot of apartments have like thin walls so you hear every little thing so i think that's what started because it is annoying like i'm not gonna lie it is annoying so i'm gonna look for more stuff and i'm gonna stop recording now but i didn't even tell you what the day it was it's um october 2nd it's 604 now i have this face mask by the brand formula 10.06 i love this brand don't know if it's cruelty free and i did try to look it up online try to look it up online but i didn't get anything but this is a peel off mask I'm currently watching this really corny movie from Netflix. It's titled Tales of Halloween and it's really corny and stupid. I'm gonna put it on right now, but it comes off really clear when you put it on. bathroom and I'm gonna do my skincare routine and brush my teeth um I have this activated charcoal right here okay I'm running out of um witch hazel which sucks which sucks uh get it which sucks in the morning I wash my face in the shower now because it saves water and it's just better so entertaining so since I don't I have anxiety about wasting water now that I'm in the house I do this thing where I fill up this plastic cup with water because I like dipping my toothbrush in water a lot so I'm dipping it into here kind of scared to do this because I haven't done it in months oh god Iconic me, 
would say am i a beauty guru now but i'm not in the mood to say it i don't know that is. okay it got really dark really fast in my room but it's pretty late now not really but like to me it is it's 7 14 i'm gonna do put on this blemish cell even though i don't really need it because like i don't really have a lot of well actually i'm not even gonna jinx it right now never mind every night i put in this blemish cell on my face um, it makes me look very shiny and oily, help with pimples. I've talked about this so many times because I like it. I think this video is going to be like extremely long and I feel like no one's going to want to watch it because it's long and I ramble a lot and I apologize. So yeah, so I put all of my hair oil in this little gem thing. I feel like these guinea pigs are still teething because they chew on every little thing that they see. They're just, one of them is literally chewing on the wall. Oh my goodness, my camera's going to die. This is splendid. Okay, I finished oiling my hair off camera. It doesn't really take me that long. But this is pretty much the end of the video. If you made it this far, please give it a like because it will be greatly appreciated and it will help me out. Comment your thoughts on the video. Please turn on the bell, turn on your post notifications, you know, the bell. Don't forget to check out the links of my merch because they're only up for a little bit while longer. Don't forget to follow my Instagrams. They're always down below. Don't forget to watch my other videos also because they're great and yeah comment on those videos too see you next time bye